Welcome back. Singapore's defence spending is expected to come in at around 20.2 billion Singapore dollars in the coming financial year. That's a 2.5 percent increase from the year before. But Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen says that the expenditure as a percentage of the country's gross domestic product has dropped to about 3 percent and should stay in this range over the next decade, barring conflicts and wars. The decrease in defence budget as a percentage of GDP was not because the SAF cut back on what is necessary to defend Singapore. Our defence capabilities have never been compromised. It's not, even, it's not also because our manpower has come down. It's come down because as various defence ministers and including MPs have said, we sustain defence spending and that was the most effective and efficient means of building a strong military over the longer term. So today we are reaping dividends of the sums we put in steadily over the past 20 years. Well, Dr. Ng says the world is now a more dangerous place with several conflicts raging on around the world, such as the Ukraine war and the Israel-Hamas conflict. And he says that Singapore needs to invest and build a strong armed forces as a deterrence against aggression towards the country. I want to make clear here that if ever something similar happens to us here in Singapore, this government... MINDEF and the SAF do not plan on the basis that we can depend on another country to come to our rescue. If Singaporeans will not or cannot defend Singapore, there is no backstop. That is the simple truth.